Hey guys, and welcome back to another travel video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. When in Denmark, you have to visit the northernmost city called Skagen. It holds tons of history, beautiful buildings, not to mention quite amazing food and nature. In this video, we will show you five places that you can miss out on here in Skagen. Stay tuned. The first place you have to visit when in Skagen is Skagen. This is where the ocean from the east meets the water from the west and creates a dramatic look. It is also the northernmost point in Denmark. We only live 250 kilometers from Skagen, so we have been to this place a couple of times. Even though this view still impresses me a lot. Me too, but you have to be careful due to the ocean current, so we recommend you to find another place to swim. I agree. It is fairly easy to get to this point. There is a big parking lot where you can safely leave your car, and from here you can either choose to walk, which takes around 20 minutes, or take the transportation that is offered called the sandworm. This costs around 30 Danish crowns and takes you there in no time. While we're here in Skagen, we want to see as many beautiful places as possible. And the next place that we want to visit is the Sandbird Church. It's around 20 minutes from here, so let's just get going. The church was built in the end of the 14th century and was at that time the largest church in the northern region of Denmark. As you can see, the church is pretty much covered in sand. And the sand migration actually reached the church in the second half of the 18th century. The congregation had to dig their way into the church when they wanted to attend the service that the church provided. The struggle against the sand continued all the way up to 1795 when the church was closed by the royal family. Near the Sandbird Church you find the migrating dunes also called Robia Miele. The dunes began to take form during the Great Sand Migration in the 16th century. The dunes consist of more than 4 million cubic meters sand and is 1000 meters long and 1000 meters wide. <laughs> you, can, you can reach this point by car or follow the bike path on route West Coast or West Coast route. <laughs> The fourth site on our list is Skagen's Levelei. It is an old-fashioned lighthouse and the first of its kind in Denmark. The last thing and what might be the most beautiful sight is the sunset. In the summertime, the sun usually goes down around 10 pm and creates a spectacular light. This is something everybody should see at least one time in their life. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you got some great tips, something you can use when you get to Denmark. We definitely recommend you to come to Skagen. Subscribe to the channel if you like it, and until next time, safe travels.